Hello and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Essentials. In today's episode I'll be showing you how to create your own texture pack or recently been renamed resource pack. So your first step is to download a clean version of Minecraft. You can do that by coming to the Minecraft launcher, creating a new profile, call it whatever and be sure to have the used version, version of Minecraft you're currently using. Save profile and click play. Now you need to locate the directory of Minecraft by going to start and typing into the search at the bottom percent app data percent slash the one next to Z on your keyboard and then dot Minecraft and hit in enter. Here you need to go to versions and then the version of Minecraft you downloaded as a clean bin so I've got 1.7.4 here then you need to find 1.7.4 jar or whatever version of Minecraft you had dot jar and open that with WinRAR or 7zip. Elsewhere on your computer you need to create a new folder and call that whatever. Now what you need to do is you need to open that folder you've just created and from minecraft.jar you need to drag over the folder assets. You also need to order this file by type until you see a file called pack.png at the top near where it says assets and drag that pack.png file off also. Now inside your folder you need to open the assets folder then minecraft and you need to delete the font folder the shaders folder and then inside the text folder you want to delete credits.txt so what you should be left with now is lang the folder in which you can change different language settings text in which you can change what the end says and also add your own custom splashes and the very crucial textures folder which has all the textures of minecraft that you can now edit Software I recommend using for editing these textures is either Photoshop, which I highly recommend but you have to pay for, or GIMP, which I don't recommend as much but it's still okay, and crucially, it is free. So now you can just edit your textures, and what I'm going to do, just to show you that the textures have changed, is take the stone texture, and I'm going to recolor that to be pink. Any textures not modified, I recommend deleting to save on file size of your texture pack, however, this is not needed. With all our textures modified, you can now come back to the directory of your texture pack and change pack.png 128 by 128 pixel image to whatever you want the logo of your texture pack to be. Now we need to create a file called pack.mcmeter and we can create this file using Notepad on Windows or the equivalent text editor on Mac. In Notepad, we need to put the following text in. I'll have this in the description for you to copy over. Changing where it says description after that where it says custom description here change that to whatever you want the description of your text pack to be when it comes to saving your file you need to call it pack.mcmeta change save as type to all files and save it in the main directory of your texture pack now you're ready to turn your texture pack files into something people can install and you do that by creating a new zip archive and call it the exact title of your texture pack now you need to open that archive with WinRAR or 7-zip and drag over the assets folder, the pack.mc meta file and the pack.png file. So that is how you make a texture pack for Minecraft and that lolpack.zip that I made is the thing that you would distribute to people who want to install your texture pack. Thanks for watching, if you want to find out how to install your texture pack and enable it, be sure to check out that video which is on my channel. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next video.